Craig's Corner. Congratulations there! You have officially obtained your own fert! Makes you feel a bit happy, doesn't it? Well, uh, can I ask you something? Before you made your purchase, have you ever thought of what to do with a fert? Is it just to show off your friends? You do realize that now you own a fert, you have a big responsibilities on your hand. Have you ever thought of what to do for food? For grooming? Veteran care? Oh my. Not only you're a terrible pet provider, you're also stupid and worthless in society. Okay, I took the last part. But still, you're pretty terrible at this. What if I told you that I can help you raise your fur? Would you like some help? Okay, don't get too close. Oh, and uh, go get yourself some mint. Hi, my name is Craig Mizutori, and I am a proud owner of not one, but two furts on my own. Now, I know you're watching this video in, in, in uh, intense anticipation, anticipation, that's the word. So, uh, uh great, I, I, I don't know what I'm to say. Th this is all out of my mind, this is all new, so, uh, if any of you are proud new owners or thinking about owning one, this is the video meant for you. And if you do like this video, don't forget at the end to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'm pretty sure that's it. Uh, we still do more videos. This video is not sponsored by Raid of Legends. Or any VPNs. We're pretty much broke. Oh yeah, you see this photo right here? Look at this. Longboy got this. He got this for me. He looks so pale in that light. Can you believe that? Oh, oh yeah, but anyways, uh, let's get on with the video. This here is a modern day furt. It made its debut in Japan in 1999, and since then, it's become popular all over the world. Although its popularity in the competitive scenes is very unpopular to the point of its non-existent at all, it has managed to become popular in its, uh, unexpected height. This Pokemon is 5 foot 11, or 1.8 meters, or roughly 180 centimeters to our non-American friends. In other words... That's quite big. Impressive. The Pokemon you see here normally walks on all fours, making it a quadruped. However, it is capable of being a biped, and above the feet, you have the tail. In fact, most scientists can't even say where the tail even begins. Is it around here? Or is it right there? I think it's right there. Another thing about the feet, it can actually allow the Pokemon itself to walk very fast due to the lack of long limbs. When it comes to finding some room for your playmate, well, first of all, you need a very, very, very big room. Or a room that doesn't take up a lot of space, but it's best to give it some playroom or something like that. Now, of course, you can spoil it with a couple of toys, but boxes are also a great replacement for plush as well, if you're broke, that is. In fact, it could even play with this box right here. The box where the fur it actually came inside of. But still, it's best to get some plushes or whatever. Yeah, it, look, it's been two years since I've raised the fur it. Let's get on to the next video. Now, if I remember, everybody loves to eat. You like to eat. I like to eat, even your furret. Oh my, it seems you got him a little drink. What is it? Water. Water, huh? Well, that's nice. 
Birds do love water, but they also love food, like I mentioned before. So, I got myself a little assistant, Antonio over there. Buongiorno everybody, it's -a me, Antonio, Italia's favorite Pikachu. Uh, you're welcome, you're welcome, you're all so nice. Uh, uh, what you bring me here for? Uh, Mamma mia, that's a big boy. Oh, that's a, that's a big, big boy. Well, actually, it's a long boy to be exact. And Antonio, we want to know, how would you feed a Pokemon? Oh, that's a pretty easy. How about the... What, the, what does they eat again? I forgot. A furry is an omnivore, and they're also known for eating meat. Mostly, uh, small rodents. Arrivederci, everybody. I'm gonna leave in the building. Wait, Antonio, wait! Oh, oh that's right, uh, he's a... He's a rat. I'm a mouse! Uh, mouse. Yeah. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I see you are really, really mad, but I want you to remember this. Fur is an omnivore, so it would mostly eat fruits and veggies. Now, let's see. What do we have? Ooh, yeah, some really good food in there. Decisions, decisions. What would you feed your pet? Well, what did you get? Asparagus. It's pretty long. A long snack for a long boy. Right here is a good example. Something like this. A side of vegetables, but also with fruits just in case. Now your fur will eat its vegetables. But however, it can't rely on just eating that. Er, sorry, I meant to say, but I mean, your fur, it's new, right? Remember? Well, you can't just expect your fur to eat the vegetables. You're gonna have to build some love. What you're gonna need to do is feed it like a baby. Now here comes the hard part. You have to have to feed it. Now, of course, first try is not always gonna work. You're just gonna have to find a different way to feed it. Ooh, what a good furret. Eating like it should be. A furret can eat one-tenth of its pound, and digesting it is a bit longer than a normal human. So, you don't have to worry about feeding it food a lot. Just give it a lot of natural stuff like vegetables and fruits. Oh, and don't forget some meat. It needs some protein as well. You smell that? Yeah, that's the smell of asparagus. And, uh, you know what happens when you eat asparagus, right? Well, let me tell you, if you eat asparagus, well... Your urine will smell, and especially your pet furt, if it doesn't know where to go. I know. Here's a couple of things you should know about a furt. In the wild, a furry goes to the bathroom similar to a cat. Kind of like similar to how a cat uses a litter box, as they would usually, um, do cat stuff. So, if you don't have an outside or backyard or whatever, here's what you could do for an inside. Make your own litter box. If you can't afford one, here's a simple solution. So right here is what I use to make my DIY litter box kit. You need is a strong, hearty plastic tub, a trash can for disposable stuff. You put your litter box or stuff in there once you're uh, done and move on to another one, and a giant stick. Now, for those of you wondering why a giant stick, similar to other animals, it's meant to like mark your territory. And well, this is a sign. It's highly advised that you teach your fur how to use the litter box immediately. And, and, uh, this is just a place safe, whatever you do. Please, keep it away from tall, tall plants. And now, we will groom our fur. Now, of course, this is the brush that I use. It's, uh, I want to say like a pet brush, but 
any brush would do as long as it's not have like the giant teeth or something like that. More like sh like little bristles that you would wipe off of lint. That's the kind of brush that I would use. Now, let me show you how to properly how to comb a fur. And you can tell our fur is very, very messy. The tail seems fine, but right here, it's not. Allow me to show you how to carefully brush it. First, you put your right hand on the first stripe. It will be the first cream colored pattern that you would see here. And on the left, you have your brush. Now, you should go by the arrow, or in other words, head to tail. Smoothly brush all the way carefully. Do not rush it. It may be a bit time consuming, but it will help you bond with your fur. And make sure to get behind the ears. You can do the face too, but please be careful of the eyes. If you are going to go around the face, be very careful. Go very gently around the eyes and around the mouth as well. Now, of course, you just can't groom it. You also have to bathe it. I'd recommend bathing it at least three or four times a week. Now, yes, it can play very rough and you don't have to bathe it often because of its very, very, very short fur. So there won't be a lot of dirt clinging onto it. And dental, well, you know, I never seen a for its teeth, so, uh, I mean, it can't eat stuff, so, hold on, I need to see if there's, there's, like, dog toothbrushes. I think something like that would be recommended. Now, this is the part where you've all been waiting. That's right. You can finally walk your ferret. Pretty cool, huh? Now, of course. Ugh. Ugh. Let me just get right. Th let me get right there. When it comes to walking your fur, please know that a leash won't be able to suit it. In fact, a fur's neck is pretty larger than an average dog, so you're gonna have to go custom with it. I mean, you could get two leashes and staple it, or go to Etsy and get a custom one where it fits more larger ones. But, what I did, I just used a rope and, uh, and a lanyard. It still works. Now, uh, you can see, I... Oh man, it snapped. Now, as you can see, carrying this fur with me is a pretty long walk. I mean, it's, it's kind of heavy. Uh, uh, could you please not drag on to the lanyard? So, uh, yeah, I'm just taking out for a little walk. It's pretty, uh, pretty nice. A oh, Bonaparte, you getting all this? Yeah. A oh, good. Uh, 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 I'm pretty exhausted. Bonaparte, are you sure you want to take this? No. Come on. No. Oh, fine. Eh. All right, long boy, a little bit more to the front yard. Now, just like your average furt and pretty much every other pet, they can get sick. But your furt doesn't get sick that often because its immune system is a lot stronger than an average dog. But it's best to take it to a pet and get it regular checkups. Oh yeah, they don't get cancer. They can't. They're one of those few Pokemon that can't get cancer. It's true. Cancer free. They no no cancer inside of their bodies. No historical signs. No historical events talking about them getting cancer. Cancer free. It's nice. Yeah, but they uh, do get calluses often, so because of all the often, often all the walking, so calluses. You 
your fur is slowly dozing off into dreamland. After a long day of walking, it decided to sleep on your lap, hurting your legs. You know, a fur cannot actually produce its own body heat very well. After all, it is usually around things, something that would produce a lot of warmth when held around or hugged around. Mostly like blankets or socks, and even their own kids. Failure to do so would lead to pneumonia, pneumonia, shivering, and more importantly, pneumonia. Yeah, it's that bad. First, you need yourself a heavy blanket. Not too heavy, and not too large. Something that would produce enough body heat. And something that is at least 5 feet or 3 feet across. Depending on the fur. Place your fur on the back first, with its belly going up. Take the first flap on the one blanket, and then you do the other on the exact same side. And be sure to tuck around the neck with a lot of love. And lastly, kiss a good night. You know, because your fur is almost going to sleep, it does make a good body pillow. With your long friend going to sleep, all snuggly, all warm, you have no choice but to snuggle with it. And together, you dream off the dreamland together. Now that we finally got through all the basic stuff like food, grooming, and some medical stuff, it's time that I finally ask the question that everybody's been dying to know. How much does this all cost? Well, even though you're taking care of a ferret, which is the same thing as a ferret, you're kind of more sort of likely treating it as if it was a dog. So, typically, a basic cost of owning a dog would, uh... It would be something like this right here. As you can tell, it's going to be pretty lengthy. So, if you got the money, you can probably buy it for it. It's, uh, it's pretty expensive. Well, that's the end of the video. I hope you found it very fascinating about taking care of your new furt that will fill the empty hole in your heart. Well, results may vary. And like I said, if you liked the video, just uh, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button because we'll be making more videos often. And if we do happen to miss something or you'd like to tell us something that, well, we haven't said. Wait, I think I said that already. But if there's something new or spicy you'd like to tell us, just tell us down below. Alright everyone, see ya! I need some beer after this. <laughs> 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 <laughs>